All right, what did I want to talk about today? Oh man, I wish I took a note when I was thinking about it. All right, note taking. This is what this video is about. I'm going to be taking a crap load of notes for the next 30 days and seeing what happens. And I'll be doing it for work, but also outside of work. Anytime I talk to someone, I'm going to write down what we talked about, even if it's just the one meaningful sentence. I feel I haven't been doing that enough. Any ideas I have at any time of day or night, I will note them down. Well, I will skip some ideas, obviously. My tummy hurt. Oh, I really need to go to the toilet now. Oh, I could use some ice cream. I'm not gonna write it down. Why would I even do this? Well, two reasons. What did we talk about last week? What was his name? What was it that we talked last week? Why would I have to remember? I will just write it down and I can look it up whenever I need it. And this leads me to reason number two, which is kind of connected. Because I know I'm forgetful when I have some idea or I have just had an important conversation. I get anxious, I get nervous that I'm going to forget it. And I know for a fact that writing the idea down really helps me calm down knowing that I have it on paper and I can go back to it and continue working on it the next day. What do I expect to achieve with this challenge? I hope to get in the habit of note-taking in any given life situation and find optimal ways to, to do that. I also expect to find a system of taking notes that works best for me. Taking notes on my phone, on my laptop, pen and paper. How do I keep all these organized and usable? Right now, I have no idea how I plan to achieve this, but I hope to have the answers by the end of my 30-day challenge of extreme note-taking. Here we go. All right, day two of my 30-day extreme note-taking challenge. I am taking notes like crazy. There is one interesting effect I noticed. It takes me about the same amount of time to take a note so that I can postpone doing something for the next day or later as it actually takes me to do that thing, like send a quick email or send a message or just do something. So now I'm forcing myself to actually do the thing instead of taking the note and procrastinating. Is this a good thing? Is this a good trend? I don't know, but maybe I'm becoming more efficient just because this note-taking thing is on top of my mind all the time and I'm probably trying to find ways to avoid it now. Hmm. One cool thing I've noticing since I've started this whole note-taking journey is that the ideas that I have in my head that I've managed to put on paper are becoming a thing and I've become even more enthusiastic about working on them. And this is what I learned in previous 24 hours. It has to do with reminders. A big part of the reason for taking notes for me is that I can capture the things that I need to do so that I don't forget about doing them. Usually I've been doing that through using reminders and I realized that reminders do not really work for me because it's one thing to put a reminder that you have to do something and you can even put a date and, 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 a, and a time, but Time is limited to 24 hours a day. And if you need to do something, you also have to make sure you have the time for that. And I'll start doing that by blocking time in my calendar instead of writing reminders. And the other thing I learned is that although I always kind of feel that I don't have enough time to do things, it's not exactly true. Oh, I need to do something. Oh, I don't have time for it. But a better way of thinking about that is, oh, I have a thing to do. How much time do I need for it? Well, let me think about it. Oh, I need 10 minutes to get it done. So if I start right now, in 10 minutes, I'm done and I'm free. You probably have more time on your hands than you think you do, but you have to time box the activities. It's gotten easier for me to just jump into my note taking system and start taking notes as I talk to someone. Right now I'm using OneNote, that might change. The thing that I find best uh, with OneNote is that you can have unlimited number of levels so you can nest in your notes you can kind of structure your notes well so this is what I like what I don't like is the search functionality so I'll be looking into probably other tools as well the other thing that I'm also noticing is that I'm not prepping well enough for the conversations I'm, I know I'm having they're in the calendar and I know they're coming and I kind of not taking notes in, in advance of what I want to talk about so I'll try to get better at that I've been busy taking notes and it's starting to feel like a routine. If I'm not taking notes and I feel I should be doing it, it almost feels as though I'm naked. And that's not all. I started to produce shareable content from my notes. 
if I spoke to someone and there was a piece of really good information that I could share with someone, I'm going a step forward and creating small knowledge sharing articles and I share them with my coworkers. One thing I learned from the last couple of days is that I am getting better at also taking notes when I'm doing trainings. Actually, I realized it's very useful to take notes when you're doing trainings. So you can summarize what you learned in, in a very few sentences, much fewer than you know, they will tell you during the training. I need to take a break from taking notes. Thanks God, it's the last day of this challenge. I started this challenge to improve my note-taking habits so I can always easily recall and follow up on my past interactions and capture any ideas so that I can work on them later. I hoped to develop a habit of taking notes whenever and wherever and also to find a system, a technical solution that works best for me. Here are the things that I realized during my challenge. In some situations, it actually takes me less time to immediately follow up on an action than writing that down so that I can postpone it. When I write down ideas that I want to work on, it becomes more likely that I will actually work on these ideas later. Reminders and to-do lists don't really work for me. Instead, what I started doing is blocking time in my calendar and actually committing to, to do these things this way. Note-taking gets easier with time. I realized some days into the challenge that I suddenly start to feel naked if I'm talking to someone and not writing down notes. I'm not prepping well enough for upcoming conversations. Note-taking is not just good for past interactions, but it's also good to prep yourself for the upcoming meetings. And that's what I started to do more. I started bringing the note-taking activity to the next level by capturing information about conversations that I had that are relevant maybe for other people. So out of these notes, I started creating small knowledge sharing articles and sharing them actually with my co-workers. I started taking notes on other occasions too, not just when talking to someone. For instance, when I'm doing a training or some kind of enablement session or watching a video. And this really helps me later to recall the content, but also to be able to retell it to others. Did I achieve my goals with this challenge? Am I now automatically taking note whenever I'm talking to someone? Well, no, not yet. I'm not there yet. I took a crap load of notes in these 30 days, more than in any other period of my life. And I feel I'm getting into that habit. I feel really good when I'm talking to people and taking notes. And I feel really bummed when I experience that kind of paralysis that prevents me from opening and writing a note. What's next? Not having an easy to use system plays a big role in my reluctance to sometimes take notes. I need to lower the technical bar further so I don't have any more excuses to not take notes. <laughs> so in my next videos, I'm diving deeper into note taking tools for Mac so I can create a perfect note taking system for any given life situation. Sounds ambitious. Stay healthy and stay tuned.